IA16 Property Plant and Equipment Spare Parts This serves as a summary of the total content of IA16. Currently, we are focusing on recognition and specifically initial recognition. In a previous presentation, components and the effect thereof on initial recognition was addressed. In this presentation, costs incurred relating to spare parts will be addressed. The relevant paragraph in I-16 is paragraph 8. Items such as spare parts, standby equipment and servicing equipment are recognized in accordance with this IFRS I-16 when they meet the definition of property plant and equipment. Otherwise, if they don't meet the definition, such items are classified as inventory. Let's summarize. Where an entity incurs costs for spare parts, standby equipment or servicing equipment that is associated with its current property plant and equipment, those costs can only be capitalized as property plant and equipment if it meets the definition of PPE. PPE has as an objective to prevent the overstatement of property plant and equipment items. Therefore, these costs very specifically need to comply with the definition criteria before it can be recognized as property plant and equipment. If it doesn't meet the definition of PPE, these costs will be classified as inventories and as the inventories are used, it will be expensed through profit or loss. Let's just quickly recap the definition of property plant and equipment. Property plant and equipment from IA16 is tangible assets that are used by the entity, specifically in the production of goods, rendering of a service, admin purposes or for rental to others and it is used over more than one period. That part of the definition being used over more than one period is usually the most important factor that influences your decision whether the cost should be capitalized or not. Let's look at an example. This company incurred specific costs relating to its property plant and equipment. It purchased a machine machine A for 400,000 Rand and spare parts for 30,000 Rand. The spare parts can be used on any machine, not only machine A. In addition, a standby machine was purchased for and it's specifically reserved for use only during machine A's downtime. This was purchased for 200,000 Rand. You may assume that the standby machine does not need a major installation in order to become operable. During 2011, Spare parts to the value of 20,000 Rand were used to repair various machines, including machine A. So the issue at hand is that the company incurred certain costs. You have to decide whether the costs, the debit leg, can it be capitalized to PPE? Is it inventories or is it expense in the statement of profit or loss? Let's talk about the spare parts. These spare parts do not meet the definition of property plant and equipment. Its intention is not to be held for more than one period. It is used to repair the various machines. So ultimately it falls under repair costs of the entity. Therefore, when these costs were incurred, it was classified as inventories, not PPE, with a corresponding credit to bank or liability 30,000. It is now expensed as used. So when the 20,000 Rand spare parts were actually used for repair purposes on the property plant and equipment, an amount was expensed to the statement of profit or loss with a corresponding debit against repairs and maintenance or cost of sales and your credit goes against the inventory spare parts account. The machine, machine I, is PPE. The debit, the cost goes to machinery in the statement of financial position. 400,000. 
and any property planting equipment is expensed as used through your depreciation expense through profit or loss. In this example, not enough information was provided to calculate this amount, but it's always good to remember that any property planting equipment item carries a depreciation charge annually. Finally, the standby machine. Because the standby machine is purchased for purposes of supporting machine A only, it is also classified as property planting equipment. The intention is to use it over more than one period in support of machine A, which has already been classified as property planting equipment. Therefore, the standby machine is also classified as property planting equipment. It meets the definition of PPE. So when the costs are incurred, debit goes to machinery in the statement of financial position and a corresponding credit to bank or liability. Just a quick note on the depreciation of this standby machine. This standby machine will be depreciated from the date that it is available for use as intended by management, even if the machine is not actually used. Remember the depreciation rules? You start depreciation from the date that it's ready for its intended use, regardless of whether it is actually already in use. So to quickly summarize, we are busy with recognition and specifically initial recognition. We looked at costs incurred surrounding, costs incurred surrounding spare parts. Paragraph 10 indicated that any costs incurred initially or subsequently needs to be evaluated against the recognition criteria before it can be capitalized against property plants and equipments.